We shift our focus to the race for the White House now. The Democratic Party's National Convention is underway in Philadelphia. It's supposed to be a festive, star-studded event, but things got off to a rough start amid a controversy that threatened to torpedo the party's message of unity. Hwang Wo-jun tells us more. I hereby call the 47th Quadrennial Democratic National Convention to order. The Democratic Party kicked off its four-day national convention on Monday with a star-studded lineup of guest speakers that included Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, and First Lady Michelle Obama. The theme of the evening was United Together. Got to elect Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine. But things got off to a rough start amid the fallout from a recent email leak that added a touch of irony to the proceedings. The party has been embroiled in a controversy ever since the release on Friday of 20,000 emails appearing to show party officials working to sabotage the Sanders campaign in favor of Clinton. The FBI has since opened an investigation into the matter. And a recent poll suggests that the ongoing scandal may have dented Clinton's poll numbers. A CNN ORC poll released Monday gave Trump a three-point lead over Clinton at 48 to 45 percent. Disappointed Sanders supporters disrupted the early part of the convention, repeatedly booing at Clinton's name. There were also speakers who said that continuing to oppose Clinton was hurting the party. I love Bernie just as next, much as the next person, but this is our country, for Christ's sake. A, 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 uh, you know, not voting for Hillary is a sure win for Donald Trump. Ahead of the convention, the party laid out its platform. The document stands in stark contrast to the Republican platform, especially on domestic policy. But there are some similarities when it comes to foreign policy. While vowing to deepen America's relationships in the Pacific, including with South Korea, the party calls North Korea, quote, the most repressive regime on the planet, run by a sadistic dictator. The document also says the country must review its past trade agreements with other nations. The party is scheduled to formally nominate former Secretary of State Clinton as its candidate for the White House on Tuesday. And she will deliver an acceptance speech on Thursday. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.